Get ready for the exciting I-75 rivalry game. Toledo women's basketball versus Bowling Green, a game you don't want to miss. Team Toledo, let's pack every seat in Savage with Midnight Blue and Gold. Secure your tickets now by calling 419-530-GOLD. That's 419-530-GOLD. Or visit utrockets.com backslash beat VG. We'll see you at the I-75 rivalry game when Toledo's women's basketball takes on Bowling Green Saturday, February 3rd at 2 p.m. Go Rockets! <laughs> Welcome back to Good Day. You heard that call to pack Savage. Well, last week for the men's game, the University of Toledo is hoping you're going to do that again this Saturday, this time for the women. You Toledo women's basketball coach Trisha Cullop is here with Rockets guard Sophia Wired with the invitation. Thank you so much for being here today, ladies. Thanks for having us. Yeah, so this every year is is a big game. You keep that circle probably on the calendar, right? <laughs> it's a great rivalry game, mm -hmm. and it's the largest attended women's basketball game in the history of the MAC. Mm -hmm. When we face each other, uh, our fan bases really support both teams. Mm -hmm. Do you do you play each other twice a season or just once? We do. Those That rivalry is protected by the league, and mm -hmm. so we'll always see each other twice. And last year, you had a really big matchup in the MAC championship game. Which, yeah. well, went pretty well for you, right? Well, it came down to the wire yeah. in that if if we won, and we won the outright championships for the second straight year. Mm -hmm. If we lost, we would share it, and so there was a lot on the line there. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was up until that point, that was the largest attended regular season game we've ever had, and then we broke that with Michigan this year with a sellout. Awesome. So this week, uh, you want a gold out. Right, so we were get your get your gold out and mm -hmm. pack savage. You were at the men's game last week, yep. and they did that. So we got to do the same thing for the. We got to do right? it. They didn't have a color uh, theme, so <laughs> we need to make sure we have a theme so it looks. Yes, you know, so it looks cool. <laughs> yeah. It's got to look cool. Yeah. So Sophia, you've had quite um, the journey with the team, and you hit some records. What last week, I think. Yep. Tell me about that. Um, I had no idea about them at all. Um, <laughs> you weren't counting? <laughs> not, not counting how many games I played, but when that, like, you find that out, it's just a, a really good feeling. And I'm glad I've, I've stuck at Toledo um, all five years. It's just been a really great experience. So we're talking most games played in most, most minutes. minutes. Yep. So that's kind of a big deal. A lot of minutes on the body. <laughs> a lot of minutes on the body, but I feel good. It, it's just I wouldn't change it for the world. So how do you prepare for this matchup on Saturday? I think throughout my career it's gotten more like hyped up, amped up. Um, I think we've both been pretty top at top of the league really. Mm -hmm. So I think just mentally prepare the same way we prepare for any game, but we know we'll have a big crowd behind us and it'll be a great game. Yeah, when that fans when those fans are cheering you on, it really kinda takes it up a notch. Makes it more fun. Yeah. Yeah. Amps well, it up a bit. Just a little bit, right? So how do you go into preparing for a game like this? Well, I think it's a pride match, right? And we have a lot of respect for them. I think Fred, their new coach, is doing a tremendous job. But, you know, it's, there's a lot on the line for the rivalry. And so it's an exciting game. Uh, it's a great opportunity. Our fans love this game. So do we. Uh, so I think the biggest thing is try to play your best and really prepare because they've got a great team. So you've been doing this here for 16 seasons now, mm -hmm. right? What do you love so much about this this program? Well, I, the winning tradition, um, the success, even preceding me, long preceding me, uh, amazing tradition in winning, but also amazing fan support. Uh, we're one of the top 30 in the country last 11 years in attendance in women's basketball. And so what do you not love about walking into an arena where people appreciate what you're doing? Mm, I mean, that's kind of nice when they're, when they're there to support you. And and, you know, year after year, that's that's the case. So what are what do we want fans to do on Saturday? What are we asking for them to do right now? Well, we want them to wear gold. Mm -hmm. We want them to show up early and be loud. Uh, and let's pack the place. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we did sell it out for Michigan, and we'd love to sell it out twice mm -hmm. uh, in the regular season, which we've never done in the regular season before. Let's break some more records. Why not? <laughs> let's keep let's keep it going. Why is it so important for the community to get behind women's basketball? Well, I, I think they've got a great product. We've we've won a lot. This group, uh, you know, led by Soph and Quinesha Lockett, they've really put a high standard as far as what we expect out of our women's basketball program. You know, last year we went to the second round of the NCAA tournament. Uh, we won the second regular season in a row in the MAC. We're, we're shooting for three, uh, but we really need their help. They have no idea how much they help us as the sixth man. Mm -hmm. uh, when you walk out into a packed arena, you don't want to let them down, mm -hmm. and we really need them. So when, for you, uh, you, you hit those records that we were talking about for, for the team, but you're also leading in scoring too, right? You're, you're scoring some, <laughs> some points. It, it's been a good season. <laughs> um, 
I worked a lot on my, my three-point shot this mm -hmm. summer, and I think that's kind of been the biggest difference maker for me. Mm -hmm. But also, I had to step up a little bit when Q was out. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm looking forward to her just being back with us and, you know, <laughs> throwing the ball, having a few more assists here and there. But I, I'm really glad to have Q back out there with me. And what does it mean for you to be a women's basketball player and maybe see some girls who come out to this game? And um, what does that mean to you maybe to be a, a role model? Or why is it so important to get girls in a young age involved in sports? I had a lot of um, role models growing up, so I think it's cool to be a role model now. Um, and we have um, young girls kind of always coming up, asking for autographs at the end of the game. Um, so this will just be another reason for a few more to come out and have the same experience. Yeah, you do that. You come out, you, you talk to yep. the fans after the game. So it's it's a great experience for everybody, yeah? Yeah, yeah our players don't go to the locker room after the game. Uh, they stay out so they can meet young future Rockets. Mm. And why is that important? Well, I, I think this community does so much for us that we want to do everything that we can uh, to help them. There's a lot of youth teams that ask us to do tours before the game, mm -hmm. and we're happy to do that. I, it's funny, we're, we signed two kids who came to our camp uh, years ago uh, that will be future Rockets next year. So you never know when that next person could walk through the door. And so we want to keep our doors open and we want to keep embracing this community. It's wonderful. That, to see things come full circle like that is awesome. So mm -hmm. the game is Saturday, 2 o'clock, Savage mm -hmm. Arena. Get your tickets now, right? Ready? Get your tickets. This team's a joy to watch, <laughs> joy to coach. You're going to not, you don't want to miss it. Ladies, thank you so much for being here today. And thank you for having you. us. I'm sure you'll, you'll be great.